Welcome everybody to Florentina and Friends Storytime by Speak Up Events. I am Julie Schindler, your host, and we have a lot to celebrate today. It is St. Patty's Day. Are you wearing your green? I had to pick a onesie that has green on it just to make sure that we are prepared to celebrate this lucky, lucky day. And we get to see Florentina today. Florentina has been undergoing her immunotherapy at Great Ormond Street Hospital in London. And our little warrior got to take her pink backpack pump home for the last four days of her treatment. And we are excited to find out how that is going and see how our brave little warrior is doing today. I want to welcome you to Speak Up Events, where we have partnered with Florentina's Footsteps to raise the, the 250,000 British pounds that are needed for Florentina's continued treatment through neuroblastoma cancer. After Florentina's frontline treatments that end on July 15th, Florentina will be taking the flight to New York for the bilevolent vaccine. And the funds that we are raising are helping Florentina to do that. The bilevolent vaccine is a series of seven vaccines that Florentina will be flying back and forth from London to New York over the next few years. And we are excited to pave the pathway for our brave little warrior. You can help us by donating to Florentina's Just Giving Fund that's located at the bottom of the screen, and also the link is in our comments. And if you're joining our story time for the very first time or returning back, please let us know where you are watching us from. Today, we are going to be exploring a little spot of emotions. This book series by Diane Alber gives us a chance to color our emotions. And Speak Up Events started at the beginning of March reading this amazing series to our readers. On Clubhouse, there is a Clubhouse is an audio only app where you get to just listen from your pillow anywhere you are in the world. And Speak Up Events has launched our um little spot of emotions reading book series every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So our off days from going live right here, you can catch a story with your kiddos on Clubhouse. So please join us. The link is in our, our Speak Up Events Facebook page, and you can get connected to stories with or without me. You can listen to the replay plays of all of our past stories and pick an emotion and color that you want to focus on today. You can grab your kiddos and have an interactive conversation with them about how to color emotions. So today being St. Patrick's Day, we have brought out a little spot, our little peaceful spot, which is green. So we're going to explore this today with Florentina and let's first see how our little warrior is doing. Hi, Miss Flo. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Did Tiggy too make his way to your house? Yeah. You love Tiggy too, don't you? And the oils, and she loves the stones, don't you? Oh, I love my pocket full of sunshine. Yeah. I put them in my pocket too. So I have a pocket full of stones that protect me and give me energy throughout the day. Do you have a favorite smelly? Is there a favorite smelly that you like? You like the mint, didn't you? The peppermint? The, sm the oil. You know, the oil is really smelly. Uh, oh, yeah. I like the purple. Oh, the purple um, one and the mint one. Let me just... I can't remember what the purple one was called. Wait, let me just read it. Okay, you go and get it. Oh, wait, take your bag. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, Mom, how has it been being home for the last few days of immunotherapy? Oh, it's been lovely. It's been really nice. I'm not going to lie, it has been quite stressful as well. 
Um, but yeah, this evening, well, the cycle should have finished about 5 p.m. In your draw, Florentina. <laughs> um, yeah, the cycle should have finished about 5 p.m., but it's running a bit slow. So um, the pump isn't electronic, so it just goes on body temperature and motion oh, and you have to keep it upright. Um, so, yeah, it's gone a bit slow. So they're reckoning it's going to finish at about midnight tonight, um, which means obviously we're not going to go to the hospital today. So we'll go in the morning to get it disconnected. But, um, yeah, I'm going to show everyone your pink bag for it. It's got a rucksack she carries it around in. Haven't you? And you open it up and show Julie what's inside. I'm going to show you, Julie. It's nearly finished, isn't it, Florentina? It's wow. nearly finished but tonight. Tonight, isn't it? Almost and then, done. Yeah, turn it around, look. Look at that. And it's got a tiny little, we call it like a balloon inside. Can you see? And uh -huh. when it, that was all the way to the top, wasn't it? It was a field yeah. to the top and it was expanded right out to the sides. And now it's this tiny, tiny little bit left. Well, it looks like a hot dog. Ah, Frontina, it looks like a hot dog in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a hot dog. Oh. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. It's a hot dog plane. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hot dog plane. Oh, that's so great. That backpack is awesome. And it's easy to carry around, Flo? Yeah, is it easy on your back? It is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you what um, kind of one I like. Oh, she's going to show you the oils. Oh, yes. Well, then, there's Tygate. Show Judy. <laughs> oh, she loves the world as well. Look. Oh, yeah. I have I have one of those, too. Isn't that yeah. neat? It's really well, nice. And Tygate flew almost 5,000 miles from Seattle yeah. to come to Florentina. We were trying to show her, weren't we, where, where, how far across the world he flew. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, she's going to open it. She likes these ones. Let me just get them out. Oh, we, which one's your favourite? This one. That one, isn't it? Which oh, one's that, that one called? Serenity. Oh, yeah, that's a cute one. She likes the, oh, this one. that one. And then she likes the peppermint. What other one? What's that one? You like this one as well. The Aroma Touch. Oh, yeah, that one's great mm. for massage. Mm, it really smells good. And Flo, when you put these on, do you know where to put them? No, we were going to ask you where's the best place to put them and how do we use them? Is it best at night times? Is it best in the mornings or? Yeah, mornings and nighttime are great. Um, also nap times um, or if she's not feeling very well. But, mm -hmm. the, but the essential oils, there's really the ones that roll, like the rolly ones. Yeah. This one. These ones are great because you can put them on your wrist. Ah, let's see. You can put them on your and wrist. Then you smell it. And when you breathe it in and you breathe in the smell, it goes straight to your brain and it yeah. activates all of the cells inside. And then you can take these and you rub it at the bottom of your feet. Oh, okay. You rub them on the bottom of your feet and your wrist. That will be your smellies for the morning or the night. And then the little ones... All you have to do is do the same thing. You just touch it to your wrist or you mm -hmm. can touch the top of your finger. Sometimes if you touch the top of your finger and then you accidentally put it in your mouth, it <laughs> tastes a little weird. Yeah. You put it on your wrist just right here. You'll be able to smell it and you can rub your wrist together and make a heart. And then the bottoms of your feet. Oh, should we do that tonight? Before yeah. bed? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of my favorite ones that's in your roly is neroli, and it smells like flowers. Uh -huh. But this one is a really good one if you are ever feeling anxiety or if you're just oh, feeling like. Oh, she's off. She's going to get the other book. <laughs> it's a girl on a mission. Go on, girl. Hey, I love she's it. it. Yeah, she's got them all in her bedroom in her little drawer. Oh. And just, uh, yeah. 
Well, and these ones also, the rolly ones will work well. Um, if she does have to do her Hickman line again, that they will help take off that adhesive. Um, mm -hmm. A lot of them will separate, so it's not so hard because I know that she hates having her dressings change. Yeah, we've got that tomorrow, actually, at the hospital. But oh, we, have she... new, we have new stickers, though, right? We have new band-aids yeah. and stickers to put on. Yeah, no, they're lovely. Aren't the um, stickers, Florentina? The, uh, yeah, she, well, she's busy. Um, she, what did you stick it? You stuck one on. She wanted to try them, so she stuck it on a card, didn't you? Oh, yeah. for daddy. So, um, but we're going to take them with us to the hospital and stick it on your dressing, yeah. aren't we? And those are great to share too if you have friends, because I know those are hard to find in the UK. So yeah, they are like gold. I, I want to show you my favorite. Oh, please. Yeah. Sorry, Julie. Have you got time? <laughs> oh, I've got plenty of time. This is what I love. It's the best. I love these ones. Them ones. Um, oh, let me yeah. see. Okay, so tamer and stronger. Ooh. Oh. They smell good, don't Wait, they? Like yeah, I know it's lovely. I really like that one. Yeah. And one of the oils, the two of the oils, the most special oils that Butera makes are the frankincense that works oh. really well with cancer. And that mm -hmm. one I roll on multiple times a day. Just put it on the mm -hmm. bottom. Yeah. Also rose. Mm -hmm. Rose, really, really special oil, and it's your middle name. That's it. Rose Burton. Isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Rose Burton. Francina Rose Burton. Yeah. And what's and that's so, so, uh, Sophia's middle name, isn't it? Oh, that's so sweet. Sophia Rose. And my middle name's Rose. It's like a family tradition. Well, not daddy, not daddy. <laughs> no. <laughs> is, is Nona's middle name Rose as well? No, hers is actually Amelia. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let me now show you my favourite one. Please. Can I get this camera? Oh, yeah, you have your ear. So, oh. Let me just pick the ones first. Okay. And I can show you. And do you know how Julie uses these? Um, do you, when you put them in your hand, Flo, when you put a stone in your hand, does your hand tingle at all? Or do yeah. your toes tingle at all? Does anything tingle? Mm -mm. No. Maybe she's not tried it properly. No. Oh, hey, <laughs> as, as, they, <laughs> as they grow energy, what's your favorite stone? I'll show you mine and you can show me yours. Okay, let me just pick mine. Okay, just pick one, one favorite stone, which is your mm. ultimate favorite. Which one? Let me see. <gasps> Okay, she's ready. I'll see yours first. Okay, so my favorite stone is the tiger's eye. Ah, oh, that's nice. You see that? It kind of looks like a tiger. Ah, oh, have you got that one, Florentina? No, I have to collect it. Oh. And We've then got that marbly ones. And this, these are the ones that came from Florentina. Mm -hmm. oh, heart. We sent those, didn't we? This one, and then yeah, a rainbow. This is my favorite. I love that favorite one. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, I picked my favorite. Okay, right, let's show, show Julie your favorite then. Your favorite? Yeah, which one's your favorite? Three. Oh, three. Yeah. Okay, so what color? First That's one. her first one. I like it. Mm. Go on then. My second one. Wait, you have to put it to the camera. Is one a pink? Is one pink? Yeah, it's a mm -hmm. pink one and the white one. It's like a light colour, pale pink, isn't it, Valentina? The rose quartz. Mm. Beautiful. And these are fun. You can put them in your pocket before you go to school. And you can also share them if you have a friend that you would like to give one of your precious stones to that reminds you of them. You can give them one of your stones. 
Would you like to do that? Yeah. She also says she wants to collect more. That's a great idea. And I know it's mm-hmm. someone special in your life. I know that Grandma Nono or Nono Donna, she loves stones too and crystals. Mm. Um, Mom, I'm mm. gonna I'm gonna get some crystals and stones. Yeah, and I'm gonna get some from outside. <laughs> uh, tell Tell Julie, what did you do with Nona the other day when you went over to her house? Stones. You saw her stones, didn't you, and her crystals? Mm. And what did you? What else did you do? Look. Show Julie the cards. So she picks some cards from a pack. And these are the ones she chose. So we get to keep them for the week. Yeah, and then I get another um, two. Why they come? And then I get to fill them back. Yeah. Can I see your cards? I see green, which is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And what's your other one? Is that purple? Yeah, show the purple one. That's green is the healing one, isn't it? And then I can't, I can't actually remember what this one was for. Can you see it? I'm really useless with the camera on this. <laughs> no, it, it's always backwards. It's, yeah, it's like opposite. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I love that. That's a great choice. And then, I have, then I have another one with like a, like a little tube and it has green on the end and then I have an extra like greeny colour and then there's another green colour. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> it's like this, but in a different shape. I like it. And I love how, that you have the colors and you have your healing cards with you. Mm. Nona yeah. did a good job on that one. Mm. She's really getting into it all, aren't you? You love it. You like wow. it. She finds well, it very energy. interesting. Energy Mom. is healing and mm. any help, right? Mom. Exactly. Mom. Mm. Because she's showing them the, the globe. Um, no, that bit down there. <laughs> I'll show you after. I'm loving it. Mm-hmm. How would you like to? Ooh, um, no, uh, Grandma Nono or Nono Nona says the green. Nona and Nona and Nona. Nona and Nono. Nona and Nono, mm-hmm. Italian, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, she says the green one was about her healing journey. I love mm-hmm. it. It's perfect for our story because we are going to learn about our peaceful spot. Mm. And let's see if I, do I have a peaceful spot with me? Hmm. He might have run away. Oh, here he is. So this is our little spot of emotion Aww. does he feel a little peaceful yeah. super peaceful he's yeah, cute he on the back side it says peaceful mm-hmm. and he has friends that show what our emotions are so today our little peaceful spot is going to show us how he makes himself peaceful yes good girl per, per. she's saying perfect peaceful <laughs> okay. yes. I said- Oh, and her for horse. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> well, our pe- our little spot of emotions, look at all the different colors that our emotions can be. We have scribble, which is all the colors. And we have love, which is pink. And happy, which is yellow. We have orange, which is confident. And we have red, which is angry. And we see blue, which is sad. And gray, anxiety. When we get nervous, our gray spot shows up. And all the way at the very bottom, look, it's peaceful spot. Mm -hmm. And what makes a peaceful spot? Mom? No, is that your peaceful pose? <laughs> well, we're going to talk about having a peaceful spot, and I know her peaceful pose is with your hair. Yeah, yeah. she yeah uh, loves playing with my hair. <laughs> well, hers, is, yours is growing back so well, Flo. Isn't it? It's coming back thick and fast now. Look what I do if I if I flatten it really good. 
And you find, you find that peaceful, don't you, doing that? Is it calming when, and when peaceful? I'm, when I'm, like, sucking. Oh, yeah. When she, <laughs> she likes to suck her food and she'll suck her food and, and run her fingers through her hair. <laughs> it's how you calm yourself down. Mm. And that's exactly how we get into our peaceful spot. Because our peaceful spot is peaceful. Let me just tell you something. Please. Oh, yeah. She said she likes to drink her milky and do that with her hair to have peaceful. That is smart. And milk calms your stomach. What did it say? Mm. Okay, are we ready for a peaceful spot and see how yeah. we can make our own? Yeah. Okay, Tiggy is going to help us. Mm-hmm. Hi. I'm peaceful spot. Your peaceful spot helps you stay relaxed and calm. Today, I'm going to show you, let's see if we can, see if we can get our screen a little bit bigger for you. There we go. Today, I'm going to show you how to get to your peaceful spot. Oh, wow. I'm excited. Are you excited to find your peaceful spot? Look at that space. Does that space look peaceful? Ta-da! <laughs> Here it is. Isn't it beautiful? Because you are calm and relaxed right now, it's easy to spot. But when big spots of emotions show up, it can become, let's see if we can, there we go. When big spots of emotion show up, it can become overwhelming. And then it can be hard to see, hard to see this calm and peaceful spot. Look at our friends. That is why it's important to look for your peaceful spot. As soon as one of these other spots of emotions start to get too big. But first we have to identify what spot of emotion is showing up. Do we see sadness? Yes. It's blue. And what color is angry? Which one is angry? Red. Red. And what about anxiety? Which one looks nervous? That one. The one. The gray one? Good job. This is your angry spot. Are you feeling frustrated because you can't find something? Or annoyed because you tried to do something and it didn't turn out the way you expected? Has that ever happened for you? Have you ever got angry or frustrated? <laughs> you? Sorry, I haven't yet. Tell, tell her. Tell her what. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay, just a quick story about Hi. Florentina's anger in hospital. What happened? Sorry. Oh, well, I'll quickly brief a bit and she'll say the rest. Yeah. So um, on our first cycle of immunotherapy, um, we did our 11 days, like they told us. And on the 11th day, when it finished, um, we were meant to obviously go home and we were getting ready to go home. And then they told us, the doctor told us that we had to stay in for 24 hours just for observations. So we were all angry, but Florentina will tell her a story. And, and I was playing with like putty and then I... Find the puddy on her forehead. <laughs> on the on the doctor's <laughs> forehead. On the doctor's forehead. I haven't done it on a nurse or anything like that. It's, that's the only one why I haven't happened to find the puddy. And, and what was the doctor's reaction? <laughs> As, well, she she didn't really know what to do, did she? She was like, oh. <laughs> but I said to the doctor, well, to be fair, we're all angry. Because you should have told us at the very start of the cycle that you're going to keep us in for 24 hours extra. Yeah. Because we weren't prepared for it, were we? Yeah, and when Daddy came, he was angry too. 
Well, yeah, when you're ready to sleep in your own bed and you have to stay one more night. Mm -hmm. You gave him a little slap right on the forehead. <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was angry. We were all angry, weren't we? But you just showed your emotion by throwing this putty at the doctor's head. <laughs> oh. But you weren't angry. I wasn't angry. I just hid it well. <laughs> Got into but, her. But you, you, yeah, no, that's it. No, you, you couldn't be angry. You couldn't be angry at me. No, because that was a good aim, and that was a good. Aim. <laughs> It's the highlight. You're a good aim. You're a good aim. It was a good aim. Oh, it was good, but um, cool. yeah, I just picked the putty up, sort of told her off a little, wow. and uh, said she couldn't have the putty until the doctor had walked out the room. <laughs> I back. Oh, I used to love putty when you would put it on a book and you could pull it off and read what was underneath or newspapers. Mm -hmm. Have you tried that, Flo? No, we haven't, have Actually, we? I'm gonna try that. If you put it on a magazine or a newspaper that has print on it, it will pull off the words and it will be stuck to your putty. Oh, so you put that off your head, it probably had a little indent. Yeah, <laughs> no, it did not mind. <laughs> it didn't cause any emotional damage <laughs> long term. Well, we have now we know what to do with our anxiety spot. You put it right here, our <laughs> anger spot. Let's find, out, let's, find out, <laughs> let's find out what to do with our anxiety spot. Let's see. We'll see if we can see if you can see it better. Okay, so. If your anxiety spot shows up, which is gray, you are you feeling worried about sad. starting something new sad, 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 sad. or scared that you won't pass your test? Did you have anxiety, Florentino, when you had to go to school a couple weeks ago for the first time? Did your mm -hmm. stomach get a little nervous? Did you have butterflies in your tummy? No, he was all right. Yeah. Well, you are so brave. <laughs> Sometimes our anxiety spot can get overwhelmed and he gets really sad. Are you feeling lonely because no one will play with you or disappointed because you dropped your precious popsicle? Have you ever dropped a popsicle on the floor and you couldn't eat it anymore? <laughs> Ooh, you are good with holding on to your open. <laughs> you got good fingers. Each emotion can be managed in a different way. That is why it's important to identify which emotion are we feeling today. So here is a little group of emotions. Oh, where did we go? There we go. We're going to figure this out. Okay, here are our group of emotions. We have our anxiety spot, who is nervous, worried, or scared. And we have our sadness spot, where sadness comes when you're disappointed, or lonely, or grief and loss. You've lost someone, or someone left. And angry. Look, he looks annoyed and hurt and frustrated. And then look, we have our peaceful spot. Smiling along, happy and calm. He's a lucky guy. Once you've identified one of the emotions, <clears throat> once you've identified the spot of emotion, it makes it easier to guide you to your peaceful spot. If you're having a hard time figuring out which spot of emotion it is, we can help, you can help, it helps by drawing it out, by writing or drawing out your feelings. How are we feeling today? What is our color? 
Are we peaceful? Were we angry at all today? Do we have any moments of anger? How was you feeling today? Was you angry, happy, peaceful, sad? Well, happy. Yeah. That's good. Happy is yellow. Well, look at our peaceful spot. Remember that place that we get to go? Oh. Is that a spot in your house that is your peaceful spot aside from mommy's hair? <laughs> is your bedroom a peaceful spot? Oh, the settee. The settee. She likes sitting on the sofa. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Good spot. And do you read books or watch uh, movies too? Uh, watch my iPad on YouTube. Ooh. And do you have a favorite YouTube channel? Yeah, who do you like watching? Do you like to watch Bluey at all, Florentina? Do you like Bluey? Oh. oh, Princess Detectives. And Grandpa in my pocket. And Grandpa in her pocket. No, Grandpa in my pocket. Oh, Grandpa in my pocket. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, and I hear your crystals. Mm. Well, when you, <laughs> let's see if we can find our peaceful spot. Do your peaceful spots kind of look like this? Where you are reading a book, listening to music, maybe drawing. You're that color, don't you? These are all ways that we can get to our peaceful spot. Pictures and meditations work. Reading and writing also helps us get there quickly. But do you know how to get to your peaceful spot? Like the fastest, quickest trick? <laughs> Run. You want to it. It's your breathing through your breath. You can get to your peaceful spot in minutes just by breathing. Do you want to try it out with me? Okay, are you in a peaceful spot? Are you comfortable? You got your crystals ready? So all we're going to do, gonna do a puzzle with mm -hmm. my we're going to breathe in through our nose. Take a deep breath in and breathe out through our mouth. Try that again. See our greens? Out through our mouth. And one more time, breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. Are we peaceful yet? Yeah. I see that. <laughs> like, no, I'm excited to play. I don't want to be calm right now. Well, imagine, um, imagine a pattern of several green spots. When you breathe in with the swirls and out with the dots, my emotions are now like peaceful spot. I will be calm when I leave this space. There are other ways that you can shrink your spots. Do you want to learn how to shrink that angry spot instead of throwing something at a doctor? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All you have to do is imagine that you have a red dot on the tip of each of your fingers. So let's see if I can do this. I got some red dots. Let's put a red dot on the tip of each of my fingers. And then it says that I need a green dot to show us how to do it. So we will do this together. Okay, so we got our red dots, kind of mm. a little fiery. It says to count the spots from one to four. One, two, two three, four. four. And totally counted faster than you. Yep. And then on our thumb is a green spot. So every time, yes. every time it touches the angry spot, it calms it down. <gasps> Look, it's calming it down. Let me check. 
Can you tap your fingers together with your thumb? Mm -hmm. See how we're calming it down and we're just giving a little bit of love. So now what we do is we do tap, 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 tap. Fill your lungs with peaceful air. Do you remember how to breathe in? And coat your spots with love and care. So all we have to do is imagine that our spots are on the tip of our fingers and our green peaceful spot is there to tap and touch them. And then we are going to blow. Fill your lungs with peaceful air and coat your spots with love and care. Wanna try it with me? Okay. Breathe in and blow onto your spots. <sighs> Look at your angry spots are going away. One is gone. Can we try it again? <sighs> Look, another spot is gone. Should we try it again? Breathe in through our nose. We got rid of another one. We just have one more spot left to go. Okay, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Oh my goodness. We did it. All our spots are gone. We did it. And we can do this exercise in different ways with all of our spots. Wow, it's working already. Look how peaceful he is in his spot. I love the big cozy chair that he has too. Just like you were talking about your couch. <clears throat> okay, I think I've given you enough tools to help you with your peaceful spot. I'll be looking forward to seeing you again soon. Can we say bye to our peaceful spot? Bye peaceful spot. Mm -hmm. We're coming. How was that? Did you enjoy your peaceful spot? That was good, wasn't it? Because it made you feel peaceful. You just did a big <sighs> <laughs> Breathe out. And you'll be ready for bed. No, I need to put these on, remember? Yeah, you're going to put your oils on, ready for bed, yeah. And then you'll be really peaceful. You'll be really peaceful. And then I can watch my iPad. No, watch your iPad. Yeah, I can. Because oh. I can, because remember you said, guys. Yeah. Oh, look, no. Wait, where are you going? Uh, I, I, we have... We have one last splash, splash paint if you would like to do that today or we can save it for later. You want to rip it off today? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's green to go with St. Patrick's Day. Did you get pinched today at all, Florentina? No. We no, we're going to do it the next time. <laughs> well, let's see what's we'll on. Do it the next time. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's under our painting and then we will get you on to your, your peaceful spot with your iPad. This one's a hard one. I can't, I have a hard time. Can you see any words underneath it? No. Well, let's see what's under. Oh, it has a little bit of a word. It has a B. B. These always do so well in my fingers. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, there we go. An R. What do we think this word might be? So do we think it's going to be an A next? Do you think? Do you think it's going to say brave? Brave. <laughs> do we know someone who's brave? I know someone who's really brave. It's a an A. Yeah, an A. Brave. Mm -hmm. it, must, 
needs to be brave. <laughs> needs to be brave. But still, oh, almost. I think we got an E or a V. V. I think we're almost there. You are right. Wait, I Brave E. Me too. <laughs> brave. Yes. Well, our word of the day is brave, and we are in our peaceful spot, and we have our peaceful colors. And look at that. Well, we have done oils, we've done smellies, we've done crystals, we've had a peaceful story, we've got to celebrate. This was exciting. Did you have fun? Daddy says some faces, what my daddy does. <laughs> what? Daddy says some faces, what my daddy does. Show a nice smile first. Yeah. A side mouth. I like the smile. Show her what you can do. No, I can't do that. Yes, please. Show her. I show can't. her because mine's in the straight line. Florentine, can you wink? Oh, Are we doing the smiles to the play. side? You first. Oh, I can't. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. No. <laughs> You do really good. I can't get my one side to go. No, I can't do a straight line. Oh, she can wink. Good winks. Oh. You <laughs> can you whistle? Because uh, Julie can't whistle. I can't whistle at all. No, mm -hmm. me either. <laughs> I can do a little bit. Not very well. Mommy, I need to show you how you're blinking. I can't, yeah, I can't think. <laughs> uh, today has been so much fun. How is little sis doing? How is Miss Sophia doing? She's good, isn't she? She's just downstairs with daddy. Oh. Yeah. Well, you guys have a Daddy! wonderful oh, no, she's gonna Good me. night, Miss Chloe. Right, say night to Julie. Daddy. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night, guys. We'll see say you night. Oh, she thinks she's going to see Sophia. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. We'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, Julie. Good it's night. a lovely one, wasn't it? Say bye. Bye, Tina. Bye, Tina. Yeah, say bye bye. Say bye. <laughs> Why do you have to be like that? <laughs> See, the Julie's doing it back. <laughs> See if I can put it between my heart. You do, huh? <laughs> look, look, I can do two diamonds. Ooh. Mm -hmm. No, you can't really do it that way. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's like this, my diamond. And my okay. heart. And your heart. <laughs> Best way to blow kisses, right? Yeah, that's it. Say bye then. Bye, people. Bye. Bye, people. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs> bye. Thank you, Julie. Bye, it's been guys. lovely. Thank we'll you. Bye. 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 Oh my goodness. What a fun story time. I cannot get over it. How beautiful our little brave warrior has gone through these treatments and to see her smile and her energy and the way that she's able to interact with us and what a special story time today we got to see Tygy too who traveled 5,000 miles from Seattle Washington to London to Braintree London to be with Florentina and he is filled with doTERRA oils and essential oils. And you saw her pocket full of sunshine with all of her crystals and precious stones and gems that she gets to carry around throughout her, addition, her, her forward treatments. Florentina, we have a lot going on in Florentina's schedule that I want to tell you about and ways that you can get involved in Florentina's flight to New York and her fight against neuroblastoma cancer. This weekend, we 
Unorthodox Boxing is, host, is hosting a huge boxing event that goes against um, anti-knife violence and saving our youth. And they have partnered with Florentina's Footsteps that the proceeds from this event will be going directly to Florentina's Fund. Part of the ticket sales and also there is an auction that is going to, it's being held by Tamar Hassan and Maximus um, Memorabilia will be hosting an auction live on the at the event. This is going to be held on March 20th and it's called Marching to Battle and we have 21 fighters that are stepping in the ring for our little Florentina. And we are so honored to be able to share with you all that this event is sold out. Can you believe it? This event for Florentina is completely sold out. We are looking for knockouts all around. And if you are looking for ways to get involved with this event, you don't have to necessarily be there. The auction portion of it through Maxim um, Memorabilia and Tamar Hassan will, there are ways that you can get involved with the auction items through an Orthodox boxing. So please check them out on Instagram and online to see how you can get involved with these auctions and ways to raise these funds for Florentina. Florentina's fifth birthday is coming up in May. And as you learned when Florentina found out that she is diagnosed with neuroblastoma cancer, it was four days before her first or her fourth birthday. So this year we are excited to throw the biggest birthday party and wrap those two years, really this last year into one. We didn't get to celebrate her birthday um, last year because she stepped right into uh, chemotherapy following her diagnosis. So this year in May, we are hosting a huge birthday event for Florentina. And if you would like to get involved and if you have ways and wonders that can be added to this event, please reach out to Allison Burton and speak on Florentina's footsteps. We are looking for vendors. We're looking for entertainment, um, cakes, decorating, face painting, ponies, all the things that a little five-year-old girl loves. Um, you can reach out to us and we would love to partner with you on ways that you can support this event in May. Other things that we have going on, Florentina's Footsteps has merchandise. So if you would like to carry flow, flow with you throughout your day, you can purchase merchandise for Florentina. Like I'm wearing her, one of her bands right now. Um, we also have... <clears throat> Because Florentina arrived in America and Florentina has mugs with Florentina's footsteps. We have mirrors um, with Florentina on it. There are so many ways that you can get involved with Florentina's footsteps. And one of the special ways is our pink sock parties. So we have three months before two months before Florentina's birthday. So each month, on the 26th of the month, which is Florentina's birth date, we will be hosting a pink sock party. And the pink socks have Florentina's name on them. These are super cozy. And I have made my husband, my son, and my daughter all join our pink sock party. So you will see some of those photos coming out soon. If you would like to get involved with Florentina's pink sock party and cover your toes in pink, you can reach out to Allison Burton through Instagram and Facebook or speak up the, or um, speak up events. We can get you connected as well. So you can get your pair of Florentina's socks and join our pink sock party on the 26th of every month. I got my socks ready. Do you? Please join us and check out florentinasfootsteps.com for merchandise and ways to get involved with Florentina's fight. Thank you from Speak Up Events and Florentina's Footsteps for joining us today for this interactive, really special extended story time. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you for being here and thank you for joining us. You are love. 
you are light. And as Florentina showed us, you are brave. Thanks for being here, everyone. Have a wonderful night.